Hello, good morning to everyone. So I'm here to show you our first experiment regarding rectilinear motion, okay, the first topic on this subject. Okay, so actually I had a hard time thinking about this activity since as you know, rectilinear motion could be horizontal, vertical, or inclined, or shoes, okay? Now I started with a toy car, okay, but there's a problem with this. Pag horizontal siya, so the velocity will depend on the force ng sakyan. So if ever malaksan tulak ng isa, medyo masabili siya ng konti. Okay, kung mabahinan man tulak ng isa, medyo may na siya ng konti. Pardon for the noise, I'm here at our backyard. So let's hear the road. Then our neighbors are an avid fan of cockfighting. Kaya medyo marinig niya. Okay, now the problem is pag malakas yung force niya is nasa bilis yung sakyan. So hindi uniform, di pare-pare yung mga velocity ba po natin. Now I try sa inclined plane is pag binaba mo naman siya, it will depend naman doon sa weight ng car. Not all of you pare-pareho siguro makukuha na sakit, kailangan ng pang-i-weight. Or and it depends pa doon sa wheels niya. Okay? So pag, pag ganito siya pa baba, hindi rin pare-pareho makukuha natin. Okay, so I devised this apparatus na lang, the materials na that can easily be, uh, you can easily find these materials at home. Okay? So first is this inclined plane. Okay, so I, I found style of style from here. Uh, from one of my deliveries of uh, Shopee, I think, or Lazada. Okay, so meron siya dapat inclination sa loob. Okay, hindi lang siya basta diretsyo. So, bakit ganun? Because we're going to use yung marble. Now, yung marble kasi is uh, this one, okay? So, para hindi siya lumabas. As you know, pagka straight lang yan, siyempre lalabas yung marble natin. Or, mag-iba siya ng direction. So, hindi straight na mangyayari. Okay? So, you can use this pag ganito. Or, kung wala, you could use a cardboard. Okay, so pwede yan, bet natin sa gitna. Siyempre, kung di siya ganito kahaba, so pwede mong tugtungan. Like this one, nagtugtung lang naman ako dito. This is not really this long, okay? Now, the length of this is 1 meter. Okay, so 1 meter ang length niya. Or 100 centimeters. Kung wala kayong meter stick, you can use the foot rule. So, dapat uh, 100 centimeters ang haba niya. Okay? Now, for the stand, the styro pa din ang ginamit ko. Since medyo marami-rami sila. Okay, if you don't have this, pwede naman ito. Then you could use stack of books. Okay, stack of books. Yan. Okay, to get the proper height. Or kung kulang yung mga books ninyo sa bahay. If you don't have thick books, you could use, let's say, a box. Okay, now if ever hindi siya sakto, pwede naman natin lagay dito sa side and so on. You could improvise. Okay, so third one. Okay, now, dito naman is, you need also, this, I think this is the one you're going to look for. Kailangan natin ng marble. Now, the marble should be 2.5 centimeters in diameter para uniform tayo na. Okay, I think pare-pareho naman to. This is the second size. Meron tayong regular marble, the one used uh, by the kids in playing. Okay, so ito yung pangalawang size niya. It is 2.5 centimeters in diameter. So, you can measure it. Okay, so marble. And then this one is 1 meter. Then, of course, you need your stopwatch to time it. Okay, so first we start... By measuring, so I extended the table. Medyo kulang yung 1 meter. Okay? So, measuring 10 centimeters, which I measured earlier, here, sa ating stand. Okay, then you're going to place your inclined plane there. So, this is 10 centimeters. Now, medyo wobbly ito. Tulad din, let's say you're going to use cardboard, medyo wobbly. Eh? So, that one may support ka sa baba. Okay? The roosters are quite noisy. No? Pardon Okay, so, ito, let's say block. Blocks of wood, or pwede rin yung pro, pwede rin yung box nyo. So, lagay ko lang dito as support. Ayan. Okay, para hindi siya masyadong wobble, hindi siya nagpe-bend-bend. Okay, then another one here, for your marble, para hindi lumabas. Okay, so I repeat, this is 1 meter. Okay, our first trial is 10 centimeters ang height niya. Okay, you can measure it, 10 centimeters siya. Okay, it's correct. It's 10 centimeters. And then your marble should be 2.5 centimeters in diameter. Okay. So, placing the marble at the starting point dito. Okay, and then we start our timer. Okay, so, upon releasing the marble until there, time natin. So, you start your time, pag release mo, then when it reaches the end, stop your time. Okay. So, I'll try it. 1, 2, 3. Yeah. So, I got roughly, uh, now roughly, it's exactly 1.72 seconds. Okay, so that is 1.72 from this point to that point, so 1 meter. So, meaning our velocity, our unit will be in meter per second. 
Okay. Now, you're going to do this three times to get the average velocity. So, tatlong beso siya gagawin. So, we're going to record every every, sec every uh, second. Okay. So, dito is 1.72. Then, you get another one. And then, so on. Then, you get the average. This one meter. So, average time. And then, yung distance niya. Okay. So, we're going to get your average speed or average velocity. Okay. Now, first. Okay. The next step. So, you have a value na. Another one. Average velocity of 10 centimeters. Okay, next is, we're going to measure again. We will increase it again by 10 centimeters. Yan. So, next will be 20 centimeters na in height. Okay. So, again, same process. Let's release the ball. 1, 2, 3. Oop. Wait. It's wobbly. I'll repeat it. I need another block. Medyo wobbly siya, no? Kapagalaw, eh. Ayan. Okay, to support it. Okay, so repeat. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. So, the time is 1.21 seconds. Okay. So, you're going to do it again three times to get the average time and then the average velocity. Okay, at 20 inches. Sorry, 20 centimeters in height. Okay. Then, finally... Another one is 30, so one foot na may 30 centimeters. Okay, para, it's a congruent. Oh, sorry, it's actually uh, put around 20 inches. Then, okay, one foot na siya. Okay, so you're going to time it again pag binitiwan mo. Okay, so same process. Okay, hindi ka nagta-time. Same process. You're going to do it three times and you're going to get the average velocity. Okay, now, meron ka ng value sa 10 uh, centimeters. May value ka na sa 20 centimeters. Then, may value ka na sa 30 centimeters. Okay, now try to find the relation between those two. Yung velocity mo at yung height mo. Okay, so ano ba ang relation nila? Buibilis ba siya pag tumataas? Umabagal ba siya pag uh, tumataas? So, gano'n siya. Okay, so upon doing this, magkakaroon ka ng parang theory. Kung tumataas ba siya, buibilis ang velocity, umabagal, and so on. Now, we're going to answer these questions without doing the activity. Okay, ano ang average velocity niya? What will be the average velocity when it reaches 40? When it reaches 40 and when it reaches 50. Okay. So, ano ba ang magiging velocity niya without doing the experiment? Taking it from the examples dun sa 10, 20, and 30. So, dun sa tatlong yun, yung average velocity, di ba? So, ano yung relationship niya habang tumatas ba ang mabilis? And could you get a constant? Pwede ba yun? And then, you can predict ano ba ang bilis niya when it reaches 40 and 50. Well, there's an ex uh, it's not an exact answer since pero konting describe si mga sagot natin. No? It will depend. Pareho naman yung marble natin. Now, it will depend kasi dun sa ating surface. So, if ever you got a, card a cardboard which is quite smooth, yung direction talaga, syempre mas sabili siya ng konti. So, may describe kasi, but it's, it's minimal. It's, it's just minimal. Okay? So, ito gaya nito, it's rough. So, baka merong babang kung bako siya, medyo mabagal ng konti. Okay, so I repeat. The activity, the materials for the activity is this one, climb plane, which is should be one meter. Okay, so meron kang sa loob. Uh, the purpose is para marble mo hindi lalabas. Okay, and then you have your stand, so you can you can improvise the stand. Okay, as long as it will reach 10, 20, and 30 centimeters, sabo siya ng 30 centimeters. Okay, and of course your stopwatch, and then finally your marble, which is 2.5 centimeters in diameter. Okay, so ito kailangan natin. So, we're going to do it three times in 10 centimeters. Then, you get the average velocity. And then, sa 20 centimeters, again, three times, average velocity or average speed. And then, lastly, is dito sa 30 centimeters. Okay, then, try to find the relation between the velocity and the height of the time plane. And then, you can predict, and then, why? Okay, so you would explain uh, this will be the value at 40, this will be the value at 50. So, why? So, so, your answer will depend on the trials you have done. Okay, so we'll be, I'll still be meeting you in class. Okay, I just made this video. Okay, so I'll be posting it in our group. You can comment uh, below, not in the YouTube channel, you can comment on our Facebook page, Valley Activity. Okay, so I think that's all for today. Again, good morning and sorry for the noise. I'll okay, see you in class. Goodbye and good morning.